Unemployment is sure to be a big issue for voters next month. And a new report says that private employers cut another 39,000 jobs last month. And economists expect the unemployment rate will go up in tomorrow's monthly jobs report. But there's also some good news to report this morning. And CBS News business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis is here with that. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, Maggie. So there are several reports out now that predict that the jobs numbers tomorrow are going to be even uglier than everyone expects. Should we brace ourselves for that? Well, the jobs report that comes out tomorrow obviously is looking backwards. It's looking at the month of September, but the important thing to take away from it is that, again, we're not creating enough jobs in this economy. It's not the kind of recovery that anyone wants to see. Right now, the expectation is that unemployment will actually tick higher from 9.6% to 9.7% as more people enter the workforce and try and find work, but also as fewer private employers create jobs. Like you said in the introduction to this segment, they're not creating jobs. In fact, there are some jobs being lost, and that is impacting the numbers as well as the census workers that we continuously talk about whose temporary work comes to an end month after month, and then that takes away from the jobs number overall. But there are jobs to be had. All we have to do is look online. You and I talked about this earlier this week, and now Monster Worldwide has come out with its employment index showing a 1% increase in online job postings. It's just 1%, but it's a 16% growth from last year. Exactly. It's consistently growing. That's the good news. And what you want to look at for future job growth is surveys like this. So the Monster Worldwide survey, like you said, is showing positive growth into the future for online job listings, and that portends positively for things to come to an extent.